babes welcome back so today i'm going to do a transformation video i've seen a lot of these like fatty uh, transformations and recently a lot of abg um transformations but i'm not gonna call it abg transformation since i'm not asian um so just to pretend any weird comments um but i like the fact that the girls um get this fatty look and or a lot of boys do it too <laughs> sorry and they get like the tattoos and everything so yeah i decided to get inspired by that and try like a body transformation for myself i got some tattoos um i'm probably gonna use this one let's see if i apply one if i'm like want to use more than this so yeah um so i'm gonna do makeup and a little bit of hair and of course head to an outfit so yeah let's see how i can transform <laughs> So I'm gonna start off with applying my lenses. I choose these green ones, they're like daily lenses. So only one time use. I'm gonna use a little bit of facial spray to make it a little bit dewy. And then I'm gonna shave my eyebrows in shape. I love using this product to blend out my pores before applying the foundation. It really works wonders, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, and then I'm gonna use this glow cream to prime my skin. It's a skincare product that I like to apply. Um, it just gives a little bit of a glow. So I like my skin to look very glowy and very dewy, so I'm gonna apply this Jill Stewart primer base, I think, all over my skin and especially on my cheekbones and my forehead. It's a beautiful product, it makes you look so nice. So I'm just gonna apply some lip balm to also prep my lips because recently they've been so dry. And then I'm gonna spot conceal pimples and scars and like some more reddish areas I'm blending in all of the concealer with a wet sponge I'm gonna use this contour stick before my foundation actually um, so I will start off with the light color and I will apply it under my eyes and my chin and my forehead and also a little bit on my nose and on my cheeks Then I will use the other side and I will contour it with a darker color and just gonna apply it on my cheekbones and on my chin and a little bit on my forehead and on my nose. So I'm gonna go in with a cream blush stick before the foundation as well. For this look, I'm not going for a very strong blush look, so I just wanna give a little bit of color to my skin. 
And then I'm gonna apply my foundation. I always mix these two products. It's my favorite foundation since forever. It's amazing since I started trying it out. But I love mixing it, mixing it with the base product. Um, I think it just spreads the foundation a little bit more and gives it a little bit more of a dewy look as well. The foundation is not a matte one, but I always feel like the base product helps it applying and staying on and i'm just gonna fix the foundation i'm gonna start applying this uh, light beige color on all over my lid i'm gonna go in with my naked palette and with this mattish cold brown shade i'm gonna apply it in my crease and under my eye. On the same palette, I'm gonna use this brown glitter shade. It's a really, really, really beautiful color, and I'm just gonna apply it all over my lid. Using the matte brown shade again, I'm gonna go over the same places actually. I'm just gonna build up the color a little bit more and a little bit more in my outer corner. And then lastly, I'm gonna use this warmer brown matte tone i'm gonna apply it in the outer corner i'm very sorry i don't know where this product is from i got it from my stepmom she gave it to me i think she bought it on amazon but i'm not 100 percent sure so i can't link it i'm very sorry but you can use any similar color and then i'm gonna take my highlight palette and apply like these two colors mixed together in the corner of my eye So I forgot to do my brows first, which I usually do, but this time I applied it after the eyeshadow. Um, I start off with the darker color on the outside and then blend it uh, with the lighter color to the inside. Um, for this look, I went for a little bit more of an arched brow than I usually go. I usually go for a very straight and soft brow, but this time I wanted to make it stronger and more arched. And when I'm done with the powder, I'm just gonna add a little bit of eyebrow mascara. It already nearly dried out, so I'm very sad. I need to get a new one. <laughs> So for eyeliner, I'm just gonna use my brush liner. I love those, they work perfectly fine. This one is actually from Daiso, which means it was just 100 yen. It was very inexpensive. And this, I'm gonna just make a wing, a smaller wing. And I'm gonna connect it to uh, the line in the middle.
Then I'm also gonna apply a little bit of liner in the middle, in the front of my eye. Um, I don't know, I've done this since forever, so it, it somehow, every time when I do eyeliner, I do this too. Um, because I think it makes the eyes look really nice. And then I'm gonna use this tear bag liner to brighten my under eyes. And then with the other side of the product, I'm gonna draw a small line underneath the just highlighted place. I'm gonna go in with this other liner, which is a little bit thin thinner. I'm gonna go over the same places again. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm once again using fake lashes today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go over it with mascara a lot to make them a little bit darker. I'm also gonna apply some on my under lashes and I'm gonna powder my whole face. This is my favorite powder. It's working so good. It's a very, very good one. And then I'm gonna take my bronzing powder. I'm gonna bronze or contour the outer parts of my face and my nose. I'm just gonna apply everything on the same place that I used the contour stick before. I will also apply a little bit on my chin and on my mouth with a small brush and then just gonna apply a little bit of blush as I said before for this look I don't want to use too much and then I'm gonna use um, the two highlight colors again mix them together and apply it with a fan brush slightly on my forehead and my chin and I'm gonna use a smaller brush to apply it on my cheekbones my nose and my lips I'll use this liquid glitter just to highlight again the inner corner of my eyes and I'm just gonna apply some lashes. Those are pretty big, I would say are pretty strong. I'm super bad at applying lashes, so excuse the way how I apply them. I'm gonna line my lips um, for this look I'm also going for a little bit more for bigger lips I'm trying to overline them on the top and the bottom This is one of my favorite matte lipsticks. It's amazing. It, like it is matte but kind of velvety so it doesn't dry out your lips a lot. 
it's a really really cool product and um it feels so good and such a beautiful color after doing makeup i wanted to do my hair for this look i decided to just go with longer extensions i was considering of wearing a blonde wig but i thought the ones that i have doesn't really fit so i just went for long dark brown or black hair I just went in with my straightening iron and made some small curls because I always have the feeling that it makes my real hair blend in better with the extensions that are already curled. Uh, I always feel that it's more natural than the straight hair. And now to the fun part, applying the tattoo. It was so, so much fun. <laughs> and I'm just taking a wet towel to hold it onto my skin. Um, there was no tutorial on how to do it, but I remembered it from when I was a kid because I did it a lot with my younger brother. We just sat there and had like small tattoos all over <laughs> for hours. And yeah, I'm just gonna hold the towel onto my skin for some time. I'm always checking a little bit, peeling it off to see if it's holding onto my skin. I loved it so much when I peeled it off. I was so amazed by how it looks. It looked so good. And I was just thinking how it looks on me. I was just very surprised and happy. <laughs> Peace. I also decided to add some more um, the same technique with a wet towel pressing it down into my skin and uh, this part was a little bit hard because of my collarbone and trying to avoid putting it over my real tattoo as you can see I have a small one underneath my collarbone and I tried to also make it noticeable and not covering it up with the fake ones it looks actually <laughs> i feel very cool and it's very nice well i really like this one and honestly if it wouldn't hurt so much i would probably do it but 
as you know this one is a real one and this one pretty much hurt already so <laughs> i don't think that this one will be better or did i kill it oh no it's fine um so yeah they look really really nice I thought it was a really cool idea to try something like this out and yeah, it's very nice, very very fun. And also I decided to wear this dress, just a small like mini dress and yeah, that's actually it. I thought about doing more but I, like, I didn't really have the opportunity the opportunity to do more so i decided to just make it like this i hope you guys liked it thank you so much for watching babes and i will see you in the next video bye bye